Hey guys, I'm Karan Binani from Mobi Scrub and in this video, I am going to help you derive more out of your Android smartphone and ensure that you are faster and more efficient with it. You might know some of these hacks and you might not, but let's get you started. If you're running Android Nougat and chances are that you are, you can now extend the functionalities available in your notification panel by adding more toggles. And the choices are limitless. Download quick settings from the Play Store. That's the name of the app and you can actually add a host of settings and basic app launches to this panel of yours. With a single tap, you can keep your screen awake, make your earpiece the speaker instead of the actual speaker, open a contact quickly, place a toggle for auto brightness, uh, or you know, even if you want a, you know, roll a dice for fun, for example. There are some even more intense functionalities. However, that requires root access and I'd not suggest you get into something as it is a slightly complicated process. Now, you know, I have placed something called uh, the Smart Reminder, which lets me quickly pin a reminder to my notification panel. I think it's really handy because that way, everything that I need to remember and is of top priority is something that I can always have on my notification panel. You know, the one thing that we probably look at the most number of times in a day. Um, I also have a toggle to start privacy shade, which lets me black out parts of the screen that I don't want people beside me to notice. It's also called as uh, shoulder surfing, <laughs> you know, so yeah, I don't, I don't want that happening. And I also have placed a button for taking a screenshot while, you know, it does require two hands most times to take a screenshot, but with this, you can do it with one. All right. Now the second hack, I hate it when I'm listening to songs on YouTube and I can't move away from the app. To some extent, using multi-screen can help a bit, but you still feel handicapped. Um, you can install Stream. It's a simple Android hack that lets you do anything you want while the song or the video is playing in a pop-up player. So let's say, you know, you go ahead, you search for a song and you play, play that song. It opens up in a pop-up player just like that. And now you can, you can go out and you could be doing anything on your Android smartphone as long as, you know, your screen is not locked. So if you did lock your screen, it would still turn the uh, song off. But yeah, with this, you're at least able to do everything with your smartphone. One problem with the Android phones are that the volume rocker is default set to change the ringtone volume. The media volume control only comes when you know, you're already in the player or a video player or a music player. Rocker locker changes that and defaults your volume rocker action to media volume. So you don't have to wait to start a video, you know, or open a player to be able to change the media volume. The fourth hack and my favorite thing to do with any Android smartphone. The satisfaction of personalization and limitless customization is a serious advantage that Android offers over other operating systems. Custom launchers allows you to change the look of your phone, uh, you know, giving you the power to change icons of your apps, changing the, uh, you know, you can see that I have this really beautiful icon back installed here. You could change color of your app drawer, you know, again, you could see that it's, it's pretty amazing. I could also apply different screen transitions and animations. You know, they also increase smartphone usage productivity by allowing for gestures. For example, a single swipe up could mean opening up the app drawer, a double finger swipe down could mean adding a new task, uh, double tap means Google Now, and you know, turning your fingers anti-clockwise or clockwise can install, or sorry, can open up other apps. I can even extend the functionality of the dock and change the number of icons that are displayed. Now my favorite launcher is the Nova launcher, but there are many more uh, like this. For example, the Apex launcher, Go launcher, Action launcher, Arrow launcher, C launcher, the ADW, AV8. But you know, you can try each one and see which one works for you the best. While I understand Snapchat and Instagram stories is big with all social media fanatics out there, but if you're still one of those who click photos um, and want to post it on Facebook and Insta and Twitter or even LinkedIn for that matter, then Buffer is an app that can do it for you in one shot. Simply, you know, just install the app and uh, connect your profiles, which you could also include Pinterest and LinkedIn. And when you're posting, just activate or, you know, check on the profiles that you want simultaneous posting on. You could also create schedules. So, you know, you could, you could set posts in, in advance for the future and assign a time for posting it up online. And the second best thing about Android smartphones, uh, apart from personalization, is automation. You know, uh, and while there are so many apps out there, the easiest to use is if this, then that, or IFTTT. 
You can either create an automation process of your own, or you could browse through thousands of user created automation applets that can make your life easier. For example, to create, uh, you know, your own applet or your own atom automation, just go into my applets, tap on the plus icon, and then you just have to set a trigger, which is your first condition. So, you know, let's say that you want to turn your Wi-Fi off when you leave home, right? So your condition has to be around location. So, you know, for example, uh, yeah, location is what you tap on. And when you exit that area, right? And then define what it should do. So it should basically go into my Android device and turn my Wi-Fi off. So look for that and tap on it. So you basically created the applet, okay? And all you have to do is, if, if you're good with everything, you want to give it an edit or that's up to you. And then you say finish. And once you're done, it's on and that's it. You're all set. Yeah, but you know, the fun really starts when you can play with all the services that are available. And, uh, you know, you could actually go into Discover if you don't want to create an app of your applet of your own. You could go through what people have created all across the world. And then there's just no end to this. There's thousands of these. And, you know, you could go through all of them and you can spend an entire day doing this. So, you know, for example, let's check out an applet for Android. And this one seems pretty interesting. If you have a calendar, um, you know, meeting somewhere, Google Maps will automatically get launched. Um, you know, giving you directions to that place. And, you know, you could just turn that on, uh, set your navigation type to driving, if that's what you do. And that's it, save. And it's it's turned on. And there are some really more fun ones. You know, for example, your Android phone wallpaper changes to your latest uh, Instagram photo. You know, if you take a screenshot, it is automatically emailed to your inbox. You could back up all your Android photos to Google Drive and you have to specify where in the Google Drive right i'm going to talk about a few applets that i have of my own uh, one is always add a reminder in my to-do list project every time i miss a phone call so if i miss a phone call i have a list of it collected in one place and i can just call all of them back another one is you know if i do create a task in to-do list with label called meeting it automatically is moved to my google calendar synced to my email id and then, you know, this again, as I said, there is no end, you know, there's not there's automation around your batteries, for example, you know, so extend your battery by shutting it off, um, shutting off Bluetooth or shutting off Wi-Fi uh, when your battery levels are very low, you know, or get a notification when your battery is low. Uh, create a Google spreadsheet every time you charge your Android device. So these were some of the Android hacks that I believe can truly change the way you use your phone and how productive it can get for you. So thank you for watching guys, uh, do leave me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, thanks again.